hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the get cart by user api in our spring boot application and in today's video we will call this api from our angular application and we will create a page to show the cart details to the user so let's get started so we will start with the creation of one component so let's right click on the components folder and open it in integrated terminal here we need to write the command to create the new component which is ng g for generate c for component and let's name this component as cart as you can see our cart component is ready now let's go to the routing file and let's mention the route for this component and to do that we can duplicate this line and for the path we can pass it as cart and let's update the component which is cart component now let's save this file and after this let's go to this customer service and here we need to create the api and we can copy the code of our existing add to cart api and let's rename this api from add to cart to get cart by user id and here in the params we need to remove this product id and instead of cart dto let's create a constant of user id and let's set the value by calling user storage service dot get user id and after this we need to update the method which is get and after this we can pass this user id in our path and we can use slash and then we need to pass the variable here and we can remove this card dto and our get card by user id api call is ready now let's save this file and let's go to the components and here we need to open cart.component.ts and in this file we need to create a variable to store the cart items so we can create an empty array and after the cart items we need to create an other variable to store the order details and after this let's write the constructor for this class and here i injected the customer service mat snack bar form builder and mat dialog now let's import this by clicking on this quick fix and then we can choose add all missing imports and after this let's create a method to call our api and we can name this method as get cart and in this method first of all we need to set the empty array in the cart items again so we can write this dot cart items is equals to empty array and after this we can call our customer service and in this service we need to call get cart by user method and then we can subscribe the response and let's name the response as res and then we need to write the arrow function and here we need to set the value in our order variable and we can set the value of response and after this we need to access the cart items in our response and here we need to apply one for each loop and let's remove the array from here and in this for loop let's call the element and let's set the processed image in this element is equals to and here we need to concatenate a string with our returned image so we can show the image to the user which we can do by using the plus sign and here we need to use our element dot returned image and at the end we need to push this element to our cart items array so we can use this dot cart items dot push and here we need to pass our element our get cart method is ready now let's create the ng on init method and let's call this method from our ng on init now let's save this file 
and let's go to cart.component.html and let's write the HTML code to show the cart items and other details. In the HTML file, we need to create a div. And in this div, let's use ngif. And in this ngif, we will check cart items dot length. And if length is greater than zero, then only we will show this div. And if the length is less than zero or equal to zero, then we will use else case and we will show empty cart. And after this, we will create one ng template. And here we need to give the value as hash empty cart. And in this ng template, we need to create a div and we need to give it a class of empty cart. And in this div, we will show one icon and we will show the message as nothing to see here. Now in our main div, let's create another div and let's give it a class of cart container. And in this div, we need to create another div and we need to give it a class of cart item. And here we need to write static ng4 and we need to write let item of cart items. So we can traverse the each item in the cart items and we can show the details. And after this, in this div, let's create another div and give it a class of product info. And in the product info, first of all, we need to show the image of the product. And for that, we can write an image tag. And in the source, we need to attach item dot processed image. And after the image of the product, we need to show other details of the product. So we can create another div and we can give it a class as product details. And in this div, let's create another div and give it a class of item row. And here we need to show the name of the product. So we can write another div and we can write item dot product name to access the name of the product. And after the name of the product, we need to show the price of the product. And for that, we can write another div and we can write item dot price. And then we can use one pipe, which is currency to format this field. After the price of the image, we need to show the buttons to increase and decrease the quantity. So we can create another div and we can give it a class of quantity controls. And in the quantity controls, we need to write the tag for the button. And in this button tag, we need to use the disabled property and we need to check if the quantity of the item is one, then we will disable this button. And in this button, we can show an icon and we need to show remove circle outline icon. And after this button, we need to show the quantity of that item. And to do that, we can create another div and we can access item dot quantity. And after this, we need to show another button to increase the quantity. So we can copy this and we can paste it here and we need to remove this code. And instead of remove circle outline, we need to replace it with add circle outline. Our code is completed to show the details of the items in the cart. Now we need to create a section to show the details of the order. So here in this div, we can create another div and we can show the total amount of the order. After this, we need another div and in this div, we need to show the amount of the order. And at the end, we need to show a button to place the order. Now let's save this file. And after this, let's go to card.component.scs and here we need to paste the styling code you can pause the video and you can copy the styling or you can write your own styling. Now let's save this file. And as you can see, we are getting one error in our logs. So let's go to card.component.html and here we need to correct the spelling to access the length. And now our application is 
running without any errors now let's go to the browser and verify the functionality of this cart page after the login of the user we can click on this cart button and you can see we are getting picture name and price of the item and we are getting the two buttons and we are getting the quantity between these buttons after this we can see the details of the order and we can see the button to place the order and that's it for this video in the next video we will create the apis to increase the quantity and to decrease the quantity of our cart item